do is make a profile photo fit into the 180 by 180 square. Um, so my suggestion is to use pixelot.com. It's um, an online version of Photoshop basically. So you can do everything you need. So what we're going to do is go to pixelot.com and then what you want to do is choose launch web app. Much easier to do this on your desktop versus a, um, a phone. So what we're going to do is create a new image first of all. What we're going to do is make it 180 by 180 because that's what that's the the, um, the size and width of the page. So just you know you can call it something or you can leave it as um, as untitled. It doesn't matter so much. Okay, so it's going to create. A little box, little white box. Now, depending on the color you want, in this case, we'd like the background to be black. Um, now, I can choose the color here, or I can go to a different color and 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 do that. But from here, I'm after black, so I'll just cancel this one. So this being black here means I can go to the bucket tool and just click in there, and it will make the black the background black. So that's step one. So then I will click on this just to go out of the bucket mode because if you click on anything else it will make it all black. Then you want to go and file, uh, open the file that you want to work with. So let's open an image and just choose where it is that you want where your, wherever your file is. So in this case we're going to choose this one here, Peninsula Hay Sales, back background. And now it'll there it is, it's loaded. Now what I want to do is copy and paste this into the other one. So I like using shortcuts, so Control A or Command A highlights the whole thing and you can see that the the lines around the outside. Control C is copy. Go into this one and I'm going to actually make this a little bit bigger and then paste it in there. So I do Control or Command V, depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC. Now, obviously, it's not quite the right size yet. So what I want to do is select this layer that I've just pasted in. So I'm going to go across to File, uh, not File, into Edit, Free Transform, and see how it's now highlighting a much bigger image on the outside. Hold down the Shift key and move one corner in. And see how it's made it a smaller size and then move it and then keep going so make it a little bit smaller so it fits roughly into that shape that, that size so again keep holding down the shift key so it stays in proportion so I'm going to make that a tiny little bit bigger and then once you've done that so that's looking okay it's roughly where I want it to be uh, maybe down a tiny little bit because I'm going to actually delete this text out and then double click in here. Look, it works a treat. <laughs> oh no, I'm just too fast. So apply the changes, yes. So now we've got our logo in the right size. What you want to do then is get rid of this text. So all I did was choose this tool here. Uh, the marquee tool and highlighted the text that I actually want to get rid of. The easiest way in Pixlr is again make sure it's the same color as the background, in this case it's really easy, it's black and then we're going to choose the brush tool and in this square just paint out the white text. Now because it won't it won't highlight the text underneath because I need to reselect the the area so here I'm going to click again and just choose that text go back to the brush tool and save it. Oh, sorry. It's basically, rub it out. And now that's ready to go. So all you have to do then is file save as file save. Call it what you like. Uh, I'll just call it Hey Sales. JP good for most most photos. Generally, I make it 100%. Why not? It's only very small anyway. And then if you're happy, just save it. Now that's it. So we've now made that 180 by 180 and it will fit into uh, the Facebook area.